What was Jesus' ultimate act of love? Was it his teaching? Love your enemy. Do good to those that hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Wait a second. Forgive them and pray for them? Huh? Was it his encouragement? Was that his greatest act of love? Hey, you think, what, you think these little tricks I'm doing here are cool? Even greater things than these you'll do. Was that his greatest act of love? Was it his compassion for the downtrodden and the despised? And I do mean downtrodden like lepers to the despised, that rich tax collector in the tree that everybody would like to burn the tree and him alive. Was his greatest ultimate act of love, was it his miracles? Was it his healing? You already knew the answer. What did that represent? Forgiveness. And here's the thing. It is the only act of love that only Jesus could do. The disciples did miracles. Doctors heal. Counselors help people with emotional troubles. We can all show compassion, can't we? But the only person who could forgive the sins of the entire world was Jesus. And that was the only way it could happen. It's why the cup could not pass from him. Now, why? What does this have to do with you? Well, it's the same for us. Me and my college roommates back at Baylor, I lived with the same three guys for three years, sophomore, junior, senior year. I really encourage you guys. I mean, if you can, find some, find some brothers, find some sisters that you can really just stick with, grow with. One of the things we did is we adopted Jimmy Ricardo Paredes L. I don't know what the letter L was at the end, but that's the way it was. Jimmy Ricardo Paredes L. We sponsored him. Do Compassion International. But if we didn't, Compassion International could have found somebody else to sponsor Jimmy Ricardo Parade Cell. If Julie and I had never adopted James and Timmy, God could have found somebody else to adopt James and Timmy. And of course, by virtue of the state foster care system, we know if Julie and I decided we didn't want to take care of our own three original kids, God could have found somebody else to take care of them, just like he found somebody else to take care of James and Timmy. If I didn't go on the road and talk about sex, dating, and relationships, there's, there's other people that could do that. But only I hold the power, me and Jesus, to forgive the people that hurt me. And only you hold the power to forgive the people who have hurt you. That gets one of the reasons why you don't forgive, because it feels powerful. Mm. Is that the power you want? The God of the universe has assigned you the role of forgiving the people that have hurt you in his resurrection power. And here's the deal. Even though it's hard, when you release someone from the debt they owe you, you release yourself from the job of trying to collect it. It's a good feeling because the task of debt collecting is a hard, thankless job. 